Great morning, great morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I hope you all have um, got up this morning and just said, you know what? Today is going to be a great day. I'm going to be mindful of what I think. I'm going to make sure that I put my complete trust and faith in God for this day. Because when I put my mind on God first, putting Christ before all things, and believing today is going to be a great day in my mind first, I'm going to see that manifest. Because remember, your thoughts are always creating what you are going to see play out in your life. Good morning. I am Evora Bentley, faith coach, author, founder of Overcoming the Battle. Overcoming the Battle's uh, mission and purpose is to empower others all over the world to know that you cannot discover your purpose or identity in a person, place, or thing. It can only be found in Christ, the one who created you. So this morning, I just want to come to you to talk to you about believing and not believing. Having, you know, believing doubt, unbelief, or having faith. And so the question to you is, which one are you going to choose to have? Will you believe or are you not going to believe? Will you have faith or are you going to doubt? So this morning I went to get uh, my oil changed at Walmart and I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and get the items that I need to and just knock that out of the way. And so I felt the Holy Spirit prompting, no, go back and sit in the waiting room. And so I was like, you know, trying to, like, let me just go ahead and take care of what I need to take care of. But remember, it's always being about your father's business and being obedient to God because you never know what the assignment is. So I went ahead and I went back to the um, waiting room. So there was a young lady there, but then there was a man that came in kind of limping. And I, you know, I said, good morning, how you doing? And he was telling me um, how he had back surgery and, um, you know, that his reality is it wasn't going to get better. And I said, sir, I said, I just want to encourage you. I said, um, he was like, because I have faith and I believe and I pray. I said, sir, I said, when you say that it's going to be your reality, I said, you truly don't believe. I said, you can't say you have faith and you believe, but you speak out of your mouth that this is your reality and it's not going to get better. So what I encourage him on is that first of all, you have to stop speaking that. And in your mind, you have to start believing that because just like how you're made in the image of God. And when God spoke the earth in the, this whole world into existence, it was all in his mind first. So I just want to encourage you that you're either going to believe or you're going to have faith. They both cannot dwell in the same place. The only thing that God is asking you to do is believe. So when you don't believe, then you're rejecting what God is asking you to do. And you're not in alignment and agreement. So how do you expect for God's will to take place? How do you expect to be healed? How do you expect to, to prosper in the business that he has been guiding you to start but you don't even believe it. So today, be encouraged, have faith, believe, and X out that doubt, that fear, and that unbelief. I hope you all have an amazing day on purpose for a greater purpose.